my name is Blake Elson. I'm a financial analyst intern here at Top Shelf Models. And today we're going to be covering the XMPD function in distribution waterfall model calculations. So we'll be covering what a distribution waterfall is, how XMPV is used within it, and then we'll run through a quick example just to show you XMPV in action in the waterfall model. And today I'm going to be demonstrating XMPV's use in waterfall calculation through one of our multi-tiered waterfall models. Now, before we dive into how exactly XMPV is leveraged in this distribution waterfall, we first need to know what exactly a distribution waterfall model is. And from a high level, a distribution waterfall is a method of distributing money between the general and limited partners of an investment. Typically, the waterfall disproportionately allocates distributions to general partners until certain criteria for limited partners have been reached. You'll frequently find that these criteria are in the form of IRR hurdles. Now, usually the first hurdle will be a recoup of capital for limited partners plus a decided upon interest rate or return, say 8% IRR. So once limited partners recoup their capital and reach 8% IRR, money will begin to flow to the general partners as well at a predetermined rate, usually starting on the lower end and then increasing as more hurdles are met and the investment continues on. Moving on, if you'd like to learn more about XMPV specifically, you can check out our blog, Excel Functions for Private Equity XMPV. But as a quick refresher, the XMPV function calculates the net present value or NPV of a series of cash flows that occur at irregular intervals. And specifically, these are intervals that are not annual. So whether that's monthly, quarterly, or daily will depend on your investment. So let's type in XMPV into our Excel sheet and see what we get. And when we do that, we can see that we have a couple parameters that we have to satisfy before we continue. And the first of these parameters is rate. Rate is a required parameter, and it is the rate at which you would like to discount the values over a 365-day period at. Typically, this rate is the pre-calculated weighted average cost of capital for your project. Or in our case for the waterfall model, it is the return required for a distribution waterfall tier. Next, we have values, and values is a required parameter as well, and it's the series of cash flows that corresponds to a schedule of payments and dates. Now, investments or cash outflows are represented by negative values, and income or cash inflows are represented by positive values in this case. And then finally, we have dates which is also a required parameter in this function. And dates are the schedule of dates that correspond to the cash flow values. And the first date in this series must correspond with the beginning of the series of cash flows. And then also, as a tip, when operating this XMTV function, you have to make sure that the columns you entered the cash flows and the dates line up exactly. So in our case, you can see that we have our cash flows starting in F, or starting in E, and we have our dates starting in E, and they continue on match for match. So let's go ahead and dive into our example. Now, what I'm looking at here is a basic waterfall example for a single investment. We can see here on the left that our limited partner is 80% of the capital structure, which means our general partner is the other 20%. So also our first hurdle we can see here is an 8% IRR. So that means that the limited partners must receive an 8% IRR before any money can flow to the next waterfall tier and the general partners. And for this calculation in row 15, we're using the XMTV function in combination with the minimum function to return the minimum between 80% of the total available cash flow because our limited partners have contributed 80% and the net present value of the cash flows leading up to our current date. Now this value here indicates the dollar amount that the limited partners will need to satisfy the 8% IRR. So if we dive deeper into this formula, we see we have minimum and then we have negative XMPV and we have XMPV as a negative for better comprehension because when calculating the XMPV, our XMPV would be negative until we reach that hurdle. So just for comprehensive understanding, we change that XMPV to negative. Now, looking in the middle here, we see we have our rate as 8%, which is the IRR. We have our values up into this date, our cash flows right here. 
which correspond to these values right here, or these dates right here. And then looking at this part of the equation, what this is doing is simply taking our net present value times one plus our discount rate. So in our case, it's that 8% IRR raised to the number of days between the current dates and the last or first date between the two time periods. So in this case, it's M8 because that's where we're currently at. And E8 was the start of the project. And then we are dividing that by 365 to get it on an annual basis. And we see looking at M15 here that our numbers are different from these before because we are finally taking the NPV that we would need to reach that IRR of 8% versus simply 80% of the total cash flow invested. So we can see after this that these values are zero because we have reached this hurdle. This hurdle has been satisfied. So, water, so money begins to flow down into the next waterfall tier. So again, in this M15 square, we see that the limited partners need $529,701 to satisfy that 8% IRR. And once this is satisfied, we see that the cash flow for this tier becomes zero. And the excess money begins to flow into the next tier where it is continue to calculate. This time we have a 14% IRR all the way down to the third tier where we have a 25% IRR. So the XMPD function helps tell us the specific dollar amount that, that limited partners need to satisfy that hurdle and for excess distributions be for them to begin to be distributed to the general partners. So as you can see, XMTV is very is very helpful for figuring out the dollar amount needed to satisfy your waterfall distribution criteria. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Thanks for watching and have a great day. Mm -hmm.